In this video, we want to evaluate the line integral of e to the x minus y over x plus y over the region d. So d is defined to be the triangle with vertices 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Note that x varies between 0 and 1, but the height y is based off the triangle here, or this line, which is the equation y equals 1 minus x. So y does not exceed 1 minus x. So that's why y is between 0 and 1 minus x. Now if I were to add both equations, or both inequalities, so pretend I put the second one underneath here. So 0 plus 0, x plus y, and then 1 plus 1 minus x. That's That gives me that x plus y is bounded between 0 and 1. And now if I were to subtract these, we have x minus y, and then 1 minus 1 is going to cancel, and I'm just left with x on the right here. So we're going to make a substitution. We're going to let u equal x plus y, and then v equal x minus y. So note that u will be the denominator, v will be the numerator. And so uh, we have u is x plus y, which this is what u is right here. We know that's going to be between 0 and 1. And then, now, if we look at the, uh, the absolute value of v, well, we know v is x minus y, so by using the triangle inequality here, this has to be less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y, and that's going to equal just x plus y, because we're looking at the first quadrant here. x and y are both going to be greater than or equal to 0, so you could just remove the absolute value. Okay, so that means that the absolute value v has to be less than or equal to u because that's what we said u was over here. And so that means v has to be between negative u and u. Okay, now here we have u and v. We solve for x and y to get, well, x is equal to u minus y and x is equal to v plus y. So I guess we solve for x first. And then did some substituting or actually some elimination and solve for x and y in terms of u and v. And then from there we did the Jacobian. So you first have to do the partial of x with respect to u and then the partial of x with respect to y. And the partial, I'm sorry, v. And the partial of y with respect to u and then the partial of y with respect to v. So yeah, the derivative, so the partial of x with respect to u is just 1 half, and with respect to v is also 1 half. The only difference here is the minus sign. So when you're taking the partial derivative of y with respect to v, that's going to be negative 1 half. And now you just find the determinant. 1 half times negative 1 half is negative 1 fourth, minus 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth, so negative 1 fourth minus 1 fourth is negative 1 half. So then you take the absolute value to get positive 1 half. So now we plug in the what we know inside the double integral. So we said x minus y was v. So that's going to go to the numerator. x plus y was u. The Jacobian was 1 half. So I just factored it outside. And then we're going to go from dv to u. We said v was between negative u and u u was between 0 and 1. So now we need to evaluate this and, well, find the antiderivative of e to the v over u with respect to v. Plug in negative u to u to get e squared minus 1 over e times u. And then integrate this. And really the e squared minus 1 over e is a constant, so you could just factor it outside. And so you really just have to integrate 0 integrates u from 0 to 1. And so you end up with the final answer of e squared minus 1 over 4e. And that is our answer.